I'm supposed to um, do uh, another session about Vocals Friday, last Friday, but I've decided uh, the next day to cancel the show. Uh, primarily because well, um, priorities have somewhat changed and well, <clears throat> to continue the tradition of Advocacy Friday, I decided to continue it here in the Vertical Diaries. We are going to talk about one, uh, actually the, the blog post that was supposed to be discussed on last Friday. It's called my 10 point goal setting method. Okay. I actually developed this one from, from what I learned from uh, my friend and mentor Pido Aguilar right? from his book, The Gift of Abundance. He, he uh, mentioned there that there are 10 aspects in a person's life that need to, that need to be paid attention to. Okay. And he has a strict order for that okay mayroon siyang order na sinusundan so i thought hmm, why not make this um, as a means of goal setting for me and well fast forward to 2020 it's been um, it's been working for me a whole lot because uh, well it keeps uh, it puts my brain in in perspective of my entire life for the past year in those aspects so i now tend to create goals for those 10 aspects so hence my 10 point goal setting method you can call it a checklist of goals but um for me it's a method right so in the next part i'm gonna dis we'll start discussing that welcome to part two so the first thing, uh, the first point we're going to discuss is self. Okay. Number one, that should be your number one, your, your number one goal should be about yourself. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. Wala nang iba magmamahal ng todo kundi sayo kundi ang sarili mo. Okay. If you don't know, if you don't practice self-love, self, uh, self-care, no one's gonna care about you. No one will give a shit about you. Okay, the first person you should be giving a shit about is yourself. Plain and simple. Well, as he, as uh, as Sir Pido said, self is the greatest abundance of all. Right, he's right on that. Let me explain. If you're not, um, there is no abund there is no abundance when there is no balance. Okay, the first thing uh, you should achieve balance in is yourself. Okay, if you live, if you live a balanced life, you will attract abundance. You will attract the things that you w that you want. That you have been wanting so if you're gonna if you're gonna put uh, if you're gonna put a number one goal in your in your list in your list it should be about yourself part three so the second um, second point on our goal setting method is family All right Serpido said in the book one extra minute at work is one less minute for family and it's never worth it <clears throat> he's right on that okay we have seen we've seen families break apart uh, uh, from 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 our circle of friends from our fam from our uh, extended family even on the news celebrity news all right we've seen it all too often all because they could not leave their work, 
their business or even their uh, their brand it is never worth it okay the the minute you trade your work for your family the more likely your family will uh, will disrespect you well for one thing if you don't agree with uh, what I'm saying right now you can just scroll up and and look for another and look for another post to pay attention to but anyway if what I'm saying is true to you then listen family well it's the only thing you got you can't replace them and they'll be with you for the rest of your life so you might as well deal with it make the most of it set goals for them all right set goals for them okay since yourself is number one then family is number two okay you just cannot trade work for family it's either one or the other that's what i learned okay so well if your work can be uh, if your work can be automated or can be delegated Automated or delegated right away so that you can spend time w with your family. So, di mo sila mapapalitan eh. Alright? Di mo sila mapapalitan. There's no trade-off. Okay? There's no such thing as a trade-off between work and family. Nope. I'm sorry. If you don't set goals for your family, well, okay. Don't expect abundance. Don't expect, um, don't expect good things to, well, to at least come to you right so part four will be next the third aspect or the third point rather friends now there is a well every, everybody says that you are one-fifth of the what you call this you are one-fifth of the total circle of friends that you have I think Jim Rohn said that. You know, I don't know uh, how I um, how I quoted him. Okay, but something to that effect. It is true that you should surround yourself with the right friends if you want to be successful in your life or your chosen field. But okay, your friends are not your family. Your friends are not yourself. At the end of the day. It is still about you. Let's face it first. Friends are mirrors of, um, well, they are mirrors of their concern for you and care. Okay? If they are your real friends, they will care and be concerned about you. Do not put them, do not put their concern off. Okay? Malalaman nyo naman kung, uh, kung, uh, what you call this? Kung ginugoyo ka nila, or uh, you, you you will have that gut feel. Okay? You will have that you will have that gut feel if your friends are totally screwing you verbally. Okay? But if they are real friends, they will care about you. They will be concerned about you. Please do not put them off. And set a goal for them. Okay, so the third. Which makes it the third point of your goal set of your of this ten point goal setting method. Okay, always include, always incorporate, always incorporate your friends on your goals list. All right. So part five, I'll see you on Instagram. I just uh, came across this uh, this quote this quote by Albert Einstein. And well made me think okay it really made me think because well he is um he is divinely correct on that because if you can't explain it to 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 a child well, your expertise your knowledge your um what you know basically you don't even understand what you're saying okay you are totally clueless as to what you're saying. So, now, 
this is the pitfall of most um, most knowing all people okay why because well looking good is what matters to them more than sounding good okay they would rather have more um, they would rather have more content this in this than in this all right so if you truly understand what you are saying what you know using kids speak is no problem for you right in order for the other person to understand what you're saying being technical speaking uh, speaking technical jargon all the time well it won't serve the greater good right it doesn't serve the greater good all the time only your peers will understand you all right if you want to get the word out okay, about something you have to explain it not not just in layman's terms but in as i say kids speak explain it to everybody like you were um, like an eight-year-old would okay like an eight-year-old would um ipaliwanag mo sa kanila na parang na para kang bata all right use a child's language use a child's language as often as you can so that you so that well so that other people will understand you okay if you're that um if you're that serious about um letting the other person know what you uh, what you know what you feel and what you want to say so the next time you explain something put in some kid speak into your speech put some kid speak into what you say all right remember that linkedin fourth point rest People have been well. It's been um, it's been it's been quite a um, disease for over the past few decades that people tend to put off uh, to put off rest when they're um, when they're when they got an idea going or when they're trying to uh, finish content like I do. But you just cannot put off rest either. You need to recharge. You need to your batteries, of course, your internal batteries. You need to um, uh, you need to put your mind at ease in the best possible way, and the best possible way is rest. Okay, and I don't mean um, just uh, sitting sitting in a corner. I mean rest. Okay, yeah, you you there's uh, you. You're, you're doing absolutely nothing not even uh, not even scan your phone for the latest social media posts all right it's it's quite you know you know today's technology is quite um, is quite a deterrent to rest okay? and whenever people made rest a goal they would think of oh vacation staycation Mabuti pa staycation eh. nasa ano ka lang eh. Na, nasa bahay ka lang eh. But you're still moving. Okay? What Serpido meant by rest in this uh, in his ten aspects is well, talagang rest. All right, you're not doing anything. You are lying down in your bed or uh, on your couch or something. You're just not doing anything. You are uh, totally quiet or totally asleep. All right. If you do not make rest a goal. Do not expect anything good in your life. All right. Do not expect um, good health in your life because well, you need to rest. Okay? Rest is a part of your rest is a part of your overall health regimen. Actually, that's why it's a part of this goal setting method. Okay? Put rest as a goal, not as a uh, byproduct of another goal. Put rest as a goal. So, part six, or part six will be on. Uh, 
just make the part season. The fifth part, the fifth point, actually, recreation. Now, there's a reason why rest is more important than rest, recreation, right? Sure, of course, rest you need to, you need to sleep, literally. But recreation, well, refocus your mind on something else so that you can go get back into focus on your main thing. Okay? Recreation does that. My form of recreation is, uh, well, listening to music or even play Yu-Gi-Oh. So those are my recreations. Okay. But I do not um, pay, too, pay too much attention or time on my recreations because it is, well, it's only number, it's only number five in my 10-point goal-setting list. But I do have a goal for my recreation. Of course you have. You should. Okay. Now, Recreation doesn't mean that um, you should, um, what you call this, you should do this first because, well, it's only number five in your, it's only your number five priority, all right? That's why it's called recreation. It'll only, it's only a means of putting, uh, making your mind think of something else, so that it'll, so that it'll be focused again on that main thing once you get back to it. Okay. Kung baga iniiba mo lang yung focus ng utak mo. So when the time comes when when you're needed back, when your focus needs to be back on that uh, on your work, on your business, your brand, you got a clear head now. I sometimes do that. For example, um, if I got uh, if I got nothing in my brain for content, I will just either play Yu-Gi-Oh or just listen to music or just do nothing or even sleep. The idea just comes to me. So then I refocus and write that idea down or record it like this. You get me now. Make a goal for your recre recreation. Right? Do not make your recreation goal as a byproduct of of another of another goal nope doesn't work that way you should make recreation a goal all right so part seven come on. guys i almost forgot to um record this uh in order to it was a TV shop, it's called the the Gotham Gotham Field Electric Grill. Uh kaya ako nag ano nito. Dahil dito. Yeah. Yay! Ko na soup meat ko. Okay. So here we go. drip tray. Um, no extra parts, so okay ang okay packaging. Okay ang packaging. Okay, we can reuse this. So! We're gonna test this out. Ano na huwag muna sigo. How can we test this out? We're going to test this. natin nilalagay yan. Okay. Wow. So, where's the manual? Three to five minutes lang lahat? Okay ah. Tatry ko liyem po ko rito. Ano, ano nga voltage dito? Hmm. 
dilinisin natin to. So, red is siguro cooking, green is ready. Usually, yun ang ganun. Usually, ganun yun. Ah, okay. So, so pagka-plug niya, so pagka-plug, mag-on na yan. Ah, okay. Pagka-plug. Subukan natin yan. Let's see if it can cook this one for 3 to 5 minutes. Alright. Kapag daluto niya ito, ito aal mo sa lingko ngayon. <laughs> ito aal mo sa lingko ngayon. Pinatod ko kasi sa George Foreman Grill kasi nung araw may... Nung araw kasi may George Foreman Grill kami. So medyo gamay ko na. Medyo gamay ko ng operation. Hindi na ba kasi dyan? Walang buta. Ikaw mo na naman. Ayan. Ayan na ka na ba siya? Madali na yan. Hindi na rin mo na yung madami. Ang talagang plug and play. Plug and play siya. May preheating pala dapat to. Pero hindi. Okay lang. I can hear it cooking right now. So, we're going to add another... We're going to put the maximum of 5 minutes. Medyo inuro ko na kung ano using this. Okay. Yeah, dapat isagad natin. Pansalo. Ano mo pwede ba yan? Yung nyebo. Ito. Pensa, grabe maglagay ng mighty mo. Hindi naman kakain ang kanin siya sa kano? Hindi. Okay. Ako para padayago namin para maluto lahat. Guys, prove ito that, prove ito that it is working. Alright? So, medyo matagal na luto, mag-order na ako ng anbusan. Pero overall, uh, overall it, ano, uh, okay naman yung, ano, okay naman yung machine. Alright? The sixth point, health. Right. You know what? If you got rest and recreation down, then your health will be not will, won't won't be a problem. Especially if you got rest down. Rest is the ultimate form of uh, nursing yourself back to health. Just sleep it off. The next day, you you'll be you'll be feeling fine. Most people put off their their health for for all the wrong reasons, right? Kasi wala naman akong ano eh, wala naman po, eh, dahil sa trabaho ko, dahil sa, uh, dahil sa negosyo ko, dahil sa family ko, kaya wala akong oras sa health ko. No. Doesn't work that way. Some people would, um, would stress health just as a, just as a byproduct of another, of another goal, right? Nope. Doesn't work that way. You should make your own health a goal. Okay. How many times you should see your doctor in a year? How many times you should? Um, 
how many times in a month you should exercise, how many times in a month, um, how uh, how consistent, how more consistent you should be with your diet plan. All right, it is actually a goal of mine to to keep myself as healthy as possible, especially these days. Okay, do not put off, do not put your health off. Do not write them. Do not write your health off your bucket list or whatever. Make it. Make your health a goal. Faith. Okay. Now, I don't care what religion, uh, what religion you're into right now. What was the last time you tithed? Okay. The principle of the tithe works with every works in every religion okay not just uh, not just as catholics or christians if you're if you're in a religion right now that uh, that is well that is not too strict on tithing when was the last time you did that when was the last time uh, you offered your talents your know-how your your business or even your service for free just to give back. Generally, when was the last time you gave back? When was the last time you paid it forward? Okay. When was the last time you prayed? For that matter, since we are talking about your faith. Okay. That's what happens if you don't make faith a goal. Okay. Well, right now I can't. Right now, I can't go to church because, well, uh, there's a minimum health standard to follow. But, yeah, if given a chance, I will go to church. And actually, going to church is a goal of mine. Right? And it's fun, actually, because you are um, feeding your faith. Okay? You are feeding whatever, uh, whatever you believe in. So, make it a goal. Make your faith a goal. Part 9 coming up. Point number 8. Mission. We all, uh, we've all experienced this. Okay? We've lost our way when it comes to the objectives of our business, brand, or even, or even our job. What is the reason why you were in this world? Why are you in this world? Basically. Ano ang ginagawa mo sa mundong to? How are you... Um, let's call this. How are you making yourself better? How are you making others better? But, what are you in this world for? Money? Women? Awards or you just want to live day to day that is how what I can call the employee mindset would uh, uh, would give you say I mean well we would uh, we would sometimes ask ourselves what is what is my mission in life okay. if you're if you're too sold on the idea of gainful employment, you will forget that. Okay. So, remember your life mission. Okay. Remember the mission you chose to uphold and make that a goal. Right? So, always remember your mission and always make your mission a goal. Okay. Part 10, coming up. Point number nine, wealth. Maybe you're asking why is it why is it so low on why is it so low on your uh, on your goal setting method on your on your goals list? Well, there are more there are things higher and more um, more worthy than wealth. Okay, we are all bound to achieve wealth. Okay, I don't care if you're. Uh, I don't care if you live 
I don't care if you live in the slums. I don't care if you live in the biggest mansion in your country. We all have that common job to achieve wealth. All right? But it's not everything. Wealth is not everything. It's not even the be-all, end-all. Okay? You have to build uh, the nine other areas in your life or and prioritize the previous eight I've uh, I've said so far in this uh, in this long in this long uh, in this very long entry. All right, it's okay to it's okay to spend your money. Okay, when it comes to wealth, comes to wealth. If you've already developed the first eight. This one, it's easier to manage. It's easier to uh, to to manage your wealth, and it's easier to, it's easier to spend it without um, possibly buyer's remorse. <laughs> we we all experience that, all right. We all experience that. That's why it's very uh, it's why it's very low in the list. Like I said, it's uh, it's more important. It's more important to um, your health and your and resting is more important than wealth. They're higher on the list. They're higher on the list. Remember. So, yeah, build your wealth. But most of us don't even have wealth as a goal. Most of us want just want to live, uh, live within their means. To um, to not to not stand out even, all right. To not stand out financially. So, it's okay to build wealth, okay. But you want you want um you want to build wealth. Well, you gotta make it a goal first. Okay. If you don't make wealth a goal, guess what? It's not going to happen. It's not going to come to you. Right, so wealth should be a goal. Okay, everyone should make wealth a goal. So, part eleven coming up. Last point: <clears throat> work. It's at the bottom of the list, so it's the least important. But you should make a you still stay. You should, you should still make a goal out of it. But well. I'm gonna tell you why work is dead last on this list because well you work too much you get sick you work too little successful successful will probably come to you um, at, a, at a very slow pace okay and of course well people would sometimes work for the wrong reasons right they would have the usual excuses like, oh, uh, uh, I can't, I can't, uh, I can't see my doctor right now because I'm, I need to finish this. I need to finish this. Uh, I need, a, I got a deadline to meet. I got, um, uh, I got to make money somewhere. I got, um, uh, I'm still looking for, I'm still looking for identity. So, your tendency now is to work for the wrong reasons. Work is work. In these, uh, in these times, you can, even, you can now automate your work. You can even delegate your work. Okay? That's, what, that's what technology is there for. Okay? Take advantage. Okay? So, the previous nine... The previous nine... Uh, Nine points that we've mentioned. There are more important than this one. Yeah, you should put the work in. But hey, you got other priorities. But if you don't make work a goal, you won't accomplish anything in your life. You won't accomplish anything in your life, period. Right? So, tamang tamang work lang. And do not work for the wrong reasons. Okay? Always make work a goal, but it should be dead last. All right. 
you know what uh, feels really good to discuss this particular blog post of mine because um, the minute I uh, saw it uh, the minute I read it I thought maybe maybe I should make this a maybe I should make this a a goal setting method because you do not um, there is a definite uh, there's a definite aspect of your life that uh, needs a goal okay. you don't have to think you don't have to think that much because there are 10 aspects in your life that you need to put a goal in okay so you know what I'm even my okay what are my goals for my uh, for my health what are what should be my goal this year for my work my wealth my family myself or how should i um how often should i rest this year parang ganyan so mas madali ang mas madali ang thought process mo when you follow this okay when you follow when you take in mind the 10 as uh, Pedro Aguilar's 10 aspects of uh, of one's life okay set goals for each and just one goal they just set at least one goal for each before you know it you got you got you got a goal list that's probably easy to manage think it's hard because you haven't tried it yet go try it okay go try it right now so if you haven't um if you haven't seen that blog post of mine if you're on YouTube right now, all right, link in the description, all right? I just couldn't get over that um, that post on Instagram where uh, there's a sign in front of um, uh, in, Luneta, in Luneta that says uh, uh, nuclear energy now, okay? The comment actually all done. Uh, I said with with today's technology the um the risk of disaster is much less okay so nuclear energy is fast efficient and in the long run it'll well, it'll make you it'll make you uh it'll make you pay a less hefty electric bill because unlike unlike any form of um any form of uh call it any source of electrical power it's well, it's efficient enough eh? okay with coal <clears throat> oil or gas powered plants okay there is a risk of well of inefficiency it can break down okay and of course you have yeah it has to have its own fuel diba whereas in a nuclear power plant all it does to all it does to generate power is to split an atom all right now uh, it's a, it's a process called fission okay the splitting of the atom so it does only that pero the energy it uh, it releases it's immense okay it is enough to power um I think uh, I think a whole city, all right, power a whole city. So, talking about efficiency, all right, and um, a good way to reduce your electric bill. Because eh, mabilis ang dating na ano eh, mabilis ang dating ng kuryente. Okay, so you don't need uh, you don't need uh, electrical power that much. Because eh, sa bilis ng dating, you get to you get to do uh you get to do your you get to do your chores much faster more efficiently you're more productive okay i don't know why um why politicians in my country are so against nuclear energy right they have this chernobyl uh this chernobyl mentality that i call right the fear of um experiencing another chernobyl nah. the chernobyl disaster is well it ain't gonna happen again okay 
That's why there are advances in technology these days that, well, that make sure that doesn't happen again in, in a nuclear power plant. Okay. Nuclear plants are that safe these days. Marami silang precautions ngayon. And of course, with advances in technology, those, pre, those, those safety precautions have been leveled up. So why fear nuclear energy? Okay. If you ask me, politics is deadlier than nuclear energy. Remember that, YouTube.